Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture on moral panic. This lecture is a part of your paper on youth, media and society. This lecture will introduce you about the issue of youth and the moral panic in a society. The lecture will also explain how media plays a key role in bringing about moral panic in a society pertaining to youth. Moreover, it will focus on how youth subcultures are vilified by media and other authorities which leads to moral panic. In a society, the moral panic is generated by the feeling of fear that spreads threat perception regarding some evil in the society. The moral panic is often identified with the youth subcultures who have adopted the culture influenced by popular culture. The youth subcultures are often considered as in clash with the established values and norms of the society. The scholars of media and society believe that mass media plays a key role in generating moral panic by negatively framing the perceptions of youth in a society. The youth are portrayed as deviants in the form of negative characters in films, TV shows and serials. The negative characterization of youth in mass media is believed to be the primary agent for generating moral panic related to youth. Youth as social construct. The social constructivism is a phenomena in which an understanding is created because the individuals agree to react and behave as it follows the conventional social norms. The youth is considered as a social construct whose image depends on how the individuals in a society perceive it in a conventional social thinking. The concept of youth as a social category has changed since the last century as evident from the literature like books, art and paintings. In the 18th and 19th century, the young people were considered as an important working class group. The beginning of rapid industrialization in the 20th century minimized the role of youth as a potential economic force in developing economies. The growing urbanization in the 19th century led to the growth of new attitudes and developments in youth as a social category. According to Professor Kenneth Nunn, the youth are other than adult and by their construction they also produce the meaning of adulthood. The concept of youth as a social construction often leads to their otherness in the conventional social structure. The youth identity is constructed by the other social groups in a society who define the social norms and conventions and use it as a yardstick for gauging the youth behavior and attitudes. According to sociologist Patricia Son, there are two expressions of this othering of youth, identity construction in a society. The positive expression approaches young people in a society as inchoate adults as beings with great potential that should be nurtured and developed. 
it also treats adolescents as trusting, loving, malleable and dependent. The negative expression of this otherness treats the young people as the inexperienced members of the society which lack good rational judgment. Both the expressions of otherness stated by Patricia Song suggest the importance of social control in discipline and development of youth in modern societies. The mass media plays an influential role in the social construction of youth. The media discourse on youth labels and stereotypes the youth identities which are inevitably embedded in the social perception towards youth. The youth crime is sensationalized in movies, magazines and television shows which subsequently creates the moral panic. The media has played a determinant role in manufacturing the youth identity in modern societies by producing the negative discourse on young people. For example, the character of a computer hacker or a drug addict in a movie is mostly played by a youth. Today, the mass media through news, TV shows, movies and magazines often portray the youth with the characteristics of divines and criminality which is largely being considered as a primary reason for moral panics in the society. Such perceived moral panics often generate overreaction by authority which results in the alienation of youth in the society. The sociologist Phil Cohen argued that the media associates a peculiar burden of representation to youth which has often resulted in sensationalization and demonization of the youth in modern societies. The reason for this is that for news media, the content pertaining to youth crime is often considered a newsworthy stuff. The mass media content often negatively stereotypes the identity of youth in a way that they are perceived as problematic and troublemaking subcultures in the society which perpetuates the moral panics. Moral panic is defined as a situation in which important social agents like media and authority deliberately create public concern about a fear from a particular individual or a group in a society. Since the beginning of the conceptualization of moral panic in a society, it has been specially applied to the social problems like youth divines, adolescent violence and youth immorality. Stanley Cohen has proposed five important social factors that are potential in creating moral panics in a society. The five social factors are folk devils, law enforcers, media, political class and the public. In the process of moral panic related to the youth in a society, it has both the response from political institutions and the public to an exaggeration and distortion of a fear in a society by youth. The political response 
comes from the authority or law enforcement institutions which provide the moral prescription for youth and any violation to it results in moral panic. The public response is the social reaction to youth behavior and attitudes. The youth actions are measured by the yardstick of social norms and convention and any unconventional behavior or lifestyle is considered as immoral and perceived as a fear to the existing social order. According to Good and Ben Yehuda, moral panic has distinct characteristics. They are number one, concern. There is a belief that the divine activities and behaviors of the groups certainly have negative consequences on the society. Hostility When the hostility towards a particular group increases, they certainly become folk devils and a clear division gets formed between groups and individuals. Consensus The moral panic that is generated in a society is perceived as a real threat to the consensus within the society on established values, norms and customs. The youth moral panic violates the social consensus, disproportionality. Because of the moral panic, the members of the society reacts in a disproportionate manner to the moral panic related to youth. Volatility Moral panic is not static, rather it tend to be highly volatile and fade away soon after it appears. Moral panic come and go depending upon the changing issues and perceptions in a society. Stanley Cohen stated that moral panics pertaining to youth in a society emerge because of societal reaction to the youth cultures. His study explained the relationship between youth, divines and societal reaction to socially inappropriate youth behavior. According to him, more social control to youth behavior results in more divine behavior and lesser social conformity. The moral panics generate from the phenomena produced by moral entrepreneurs such as media editors, police and government officials who perceive youth as defined and delinquent behavior. Although the reason for moral panics related to youth have other social reasons, but it has been primarily attributed to the mass media's uncensored and irresponsible characterization of youth. In a country like India, mass media must be held accountable and the policy makers must ensure the regulation of media content to censor the negative portrayal of youth in news, movies and magazines. The moral panic is often considered as a product of emerging youth subcultures in modern societies. The youth subcultures which are associated with perceptions of violence and inappropriate behavior among young people are the reasons for moral panic towards youth. In India, the behavior that the youth reflect under the influence of popular culture consumed through films fashion and social media is often considered in clash with the social values and norms 
that generates moral panic. How moral panic affects the society? It destabilizes the society by accommodating new media. The online porn websites is a source of threat which creates moral panic. The youth accommodate new trends and learn new ways of engaging with media content whereas the older generations don't. This generation gap leads to non-conformity and moral panic. The youth subcultures challenges the established profits, set social structures and traditional job skills, moral panic and new media. The moral codes and convention in a society often contradict with the evolving cultures in that particular society and contemporary developing countries have witnessed this problem. The social moral panic is often used by politicians for their political interests and they benefit from it by sensitizing and polarizing the citizens against the rivals. The media plays the pivotal role and is availed by the political class to generate a strong social response on issue pertaining to moral panics in a society. The sociologists believe that moral panic related to youth is manufactured like dissent in a society. The emergence of social media led to the intensification of the rift between social norms and modernity. The social networking sites have become conducive for generating moral panics attributed to youth lifestyle and behavior. The change is the law of the nature, so is the social change. The new media involvement of youth has sharpened the lines of generational gap by mainstreaming the debates on deviance and youth alienation. The social networking sites are considered as primary observatories for understanding the youth culture. The young people who prefer to express their views and opinions through social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter suffer from moral policing by other groups of the society. The youth behavior and lifestyle is critically debated which leads to apprehensions pertaining to young people. The virtual construction of negative apprehensions towards youth behavior leads to moral panic. The stereotypical images of youth that are constructed through social media interactions about youth behavior and lifestyle subsequently turn into social moral panic about youth. The moral panic aided by new media technologies is more problematic than conventional socially constructed moral panic because of rapid proliferation and interaction through online networks.
India is a typical example for understanding the social media's role in creating the youth moral panic. India being a country with culturally conservative society and grounded socio-religious ethos has been skeptical about liberal and progressive growth of youth. The youth behavior and lifestyle is often considered as influenced by popular and western culture. The contradictory moral, social and economic trends often surface in social media content which becomes an essential source for the moral panic. The exaggeration and overreaction over youth behavior and attitude are one of the primary symptoms of moral panic related to youth in today's Indian society. The social media has been an important platform for such social reaction to youth behavior and expression as divine behavior which is harmful for social order and cultural ethos of this country. The sociologists believe that the public overreaction to youth behavior and construction of moral panic over social media has polarized the position of youth. The moral policing of youth by reacting to their behavior on social media leads to perceptions of structural exclusion and alienation of youth in a society. The moral panic which is socially constructed is a result of distortion, exaggeration and overreaction to youth behavior and attitudes on social media sites. The youth in India constitute the largest proportion of Indian population. The youth bulge which is considered vital for potential economic growth of India must not be victimized by the moral policing and overreaction for their expression and attitude over social media networks. It is essential to have an inclusive approach to youth in economic and cultural spheres of Indian society. The social media which is penetrating deeper in the Indian society is an integral part of youth life. The healthier and positive interactions about the growth and well-being of youth are necessary for minimizing the socially constructed fears related to youth as a social threat and problem. Summing up this lecture, we hope that you have understood the moral panic as an issue associated with the youth subculture. We discussed how youth are projected as divines in today's society and the sources of evils. The media plays a key role in producing negative perceptions regarding youth by portraying them negatively. The youth subcultures are often considered in clash with the established social values and norms. This clash leads to the moral panic in a society which brushes youth as outlaws and nonconformists. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. For more details, please read the e-text of this lecture properly and attempt the questions in the end. Thank you.